Welcome back. We just had a, a, a very difficult fight. I think we did all right considering what we had, etc, etc, etc. We made it through. We made it through. So, we should be able to see the scene now after we've defeated the Interma Queen. Yep, more memories for you. Shida! I mean, you can imagine how traumatizing this would be. Like, all, all these new memories rushing into your mind. It's like your entire psyche has to reorganize with this new information. This was bound to happen, wasn't it? Damn, I wish I could take the pain in her stead. Sheena, you got this. We're here with you. Oh... I can't keep seeing Sheena go through this. Well, this is what she needs to regain her memories and rid the world of the Entoma. It's painful, but we need to support her. <laughs> She's writhing in agony. I hope it passes soon. Hang in there, Sheena. <laughs> Sheena? What is it? This is Alice again. You created this world, didn't you? Hmm. Well, not on my own. But I'm one of the people who did. A lot of work went into this place. So, does that make you a god in this world, Sheena? See, we're at that point now where it's like, yeah, this is all about people creating worlds and they are gods. Hmm. I wouldn't say so. But you are. To the people of this world, you are. I was a part of a team, and all of us contributed to bring this world to life. Yeah, that doesn't mean you're not a god to these people, it's just you're one of the gods. How so? Well, we all have a voice, and we use our voices to make people interested in the worlds we create. Therefore, everything in this world exists because we imagine it so. I suppose that makes our imagination the god of this world. Know what I mean? Nope, sounds like mumbo jumbo to me. I see. What about everyone else? Will I be able to meet them one day? Hmm, I'm not sure. They all exist in the real world. Real world? Is that where you're from? Yep. Hopefully, when this world is done, then people from there will come here to visit. Then, I can go to the real world? Mm, no. Huh. That's a good question. I wonder if you could. Oh, right. Okay, that's heading that way then. Mm. I wish that I could visit your world. Even for a little while, Sheena. I wish that too. I'm sorry you can't yet. No, it's okay. I love the world you've created, Sheena. What else? Hmm. I can't wait to play in this world once it's done! Sheena. Then we'll have more friends, right? Yeah, there'll be so many people to play with. Wow! <laughs> I can't wait! Yeah, me neither. You don't sound committed to that just then. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there goes the voice acting. Ooh. Sheena. Can you hear me? How are you doing? <laughs> Sheena, mind if I rub your back? That... You don't need to speak. Breathe in slowly. You did well, Sheena. Sorry if I worried you again, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. How's your head feeling? Fine, I'm okay now. What a relief. So, what'd you see this time? I saw that girl again. She said she loved this world. How she wished to spend time with me inside of it. Ooh. I wonder if, like, the AI became sentient, took part of, like, 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 she was working on this AI thing. That took control of Agle in order to bring Sheena into her world. Maybe that's what's going on. That's all, anyway. Uh, she wants to spend time with you, huh? Guess she must have left a pretty good impression on her. Like you two were... Uh, really fond of one another. 
Yes, the memory of her still aches in my heart. All right, we have to regroup and push forward, for her sake at least. Yeah, if we keep sitting around here, something might try to come and take the terminal stone from us again. Point taken. Come on out, let's go, get up. Sure, time to go. Slow fade out. Oh, so hard. What? What is? Cracking the Alice engine. Obviously. The CEO has been teaching me how to code over the phone, so I've been tinkering here and there. But it's been two days, and I feel like I've barely budged. Can I really make the NPC girl self-aware? Well, if you don't mind, could you maybe think about it after you've crossed the road? Uh, let's get this shopping over with. All we need is water and a bunch of cup noodles, that's it. Cup noodles? Cup noodles? Really? Yeah, alright then. In the middle of a bustling street, I was thrust into Riviere. Rev Probably saying that completely wrong. Remembering a time when Sheena and I got into a huge argument on our way home. Reverie. Oh, hello. Who are you developing these games for, anyway, Mizunashi? I know, I wish it was in our hands. I know how important it is for us to meet our clients' requirements, but considering the volume of revisions they requested, we're basically abandoning what we want to create. What's wrong with showing a little underwear? Oh, oh alright then. Don't act like a child. And why are you yelling? We're outside. Mizunashi, you're such a dumb dumb. Why do you refuse to stand up for your own creation? Think about it. So I'm assuming this is meant to be like a, a jab at Sony's censorship. What? I... I want to offer our players a place to escape. One where they are unburdened by their lives. We'll call it... Mobius. Yes, yes. The hope is that when they log out, they emerge back into their lives with a renewed sense of purpose. That our stories resonate with them. How'd you see? We can change their lives, inspire a newfound curiosity, all because of characters we had a hand in creating. And when you think about it, this does actually work in some specialized cases here and there. Because you have to think, like, like obviously it's always pertinent in my mind. How did I meet Sarah? It's because of Neptunia. Because I played those games, because of those characters. Specifically those characters, because then she was looking for videos of her characters. So it's like, yeah. You can change people's lives with making games. It happened. For me and Sarah. So, there you go. That's why it's important for our players to customize their avatars how they'd like. That is a right that we owe to them. Okay, I got it. Well, not really, but I'll try to negotiate one more time for a compromise. What if we replace the panties with leggings? No, they need to be striped panties. I mean, the character has a fondness for stripes because her childhood kitty was striped. Alright. Huh. Odd justification. Ah, this drugstore is useless! Why? They don't have any curry ramen. You're obsessed with curry, aren't you? Remember when you built the tower of curry, ra <laughs> curry ramen cups at your desk? The office had a good laugh about that. What's there to laugh about? You Philistines are just too uncultured to appreciate good art. Imagine the curry-flavored cup noodle, a symbol of the late-night office dweller, repurposed into a modern marvel. When the weight of corporate... Deeg beats me down. Who is there to save me except for my beautiful curry cup tower? Be still, my heart. Spare me. Oh, the smell. The way the soup thickens into goop inside the cup. The meat that doesn't really taste like meat. Wait, what? And the dried potato. Are those compliments? I told you, silly. It's my favorite. I'm sure there are dozens of people like me. Dozens. Well, I did see that Rin keeps a stash hidden in the back for special occasions. That's going to be gone. Speaking of Rin, I haven't seen her for a couple of days. 
That's troubling. I'm always worried when someone disappears now. Yeah, I wonder if she went to check up on Munakata again. If you happen to see Rin, could you ask her to call me? Understood. All right, I was able to hack into the Alice Engine servers. Great job. Hey, you're almost there. You're on the cusp of greatness. I'd expect nothing less from my prized apprentice. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, final push. No, I think you've done enough work tonight. Human productivity peaks after three hours of labor, thus making you prone to error. We both know how even a single mistake in the code could spell catastrophe, right? <laughs> Point taken, sir. Indeed. You should be proud of yourself, Mizunashi. I'll call you back in six hours. Good night. Six hours? Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> I was chatting with the CEO over Skype, 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 Skype. Wait, wait a minute. Is that Skype the same as our Skype? Whoa, I would have used Discord. But anyway, doing my best to analyze the Alice engine's code, but it seemed like I'd hit a wall. Tokuo was already fast asleep in her room, so I went over to the break room and bundled into the sleeping bag. Why is there a car? It's weird. Even though Munakata is seemingly nowhere to be found, we're still using all of his facilities. Rin is worried sick about you too. Come on, man, come back home. <sighs> that email is still suspicious, though. longer I can sequester myself inside this safe house. Oh, it must be from Rin. Hello? Yes, it's me. Talk to me, Rin. <laughs> oh, great. She's a bit occupied at the moment. Too busy licking the sole of my shoe. How big is your forehead? We've got her half naked and covered in blood while we peel her fingernails off. Here, how about a picture? Enjoy the sights, Werner Glock. Jesus Christ. You bastard. You... <laughs> Rin! You son of a bitch! <laughs> I love it when she screams. Reminds me of her father, wouldn't you say? I'd be surprised if this guy's name is Fish. God damn you! Victor! Oh, well, there we go. That's right. Remember me now, dear friend? It's me, Victor Tailman. Tailman? It's been a long time, Glock. The past has come back to haunt you. <sighs> my, my. Who knew you were in Japan this whole time? You thought infiltrating Agle would help, didn't you? You'll never learn. There's nowhere else to go. You'll rue the day you ran away from Aphesis. It's called Aphesis. Fuck you! What does Rin have to do with that? Let her go this instant. Ha! <laughs> but she's your daughter, an Asukaze by blood. Does that worry you? What? Miss Rin is a stubborn one. She refuses to give up your location. <laughs> Loyalty is hard to come by nowadays. But there's always more fun to be had in getting a girl to bend to your will. Hey, you don't need this tooth here, do you? Oh. Stop it! Rin, you know why we're taking your teeth out? It's so that when we chop you to bits and dump your remains, they can't trace whose body it is. <laughs> oh, scream, baby. Let it out. Tell me how afraid you are. <laughs> this is your last chance. Give it up.
Did she actually say no? What was that? <laughs> no. I will never tell you. You bitch. Stop it, Victor! It's me you're after! Shut up, you useless nerd. You should have listened. I'll make you regret it. Victor! What can you do? You no longer have a body. I'm going to destroy you. Your apprentice, your company, everything. I'll destroy it all. If Rin has the gusto to spit out where you are, then I'll head right to you. Until then, give some thought to what I've told you, old friend. I'll tell you where I am. Just let her go right now. Oh. <laughs> no! Yeah. <sighs> I was gonna say, like, what, what did they do? Spell that wrong? Oh, wait, yeah, the teeth have been removed. Even if you tell them, those bastards, they don't let my word be in vain. Corinne! Even if they can use your weakness against you, you can't give in, right? <laughs> you deserve some credit, you know that, Rin? I've got to hand it to you. So, out of respect for your amazing character, I owe it to you to see how much torture you can really handle. Think you've got what it takes, both you and Clock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, right, the pandemic self, yay! Okay. Okay. Oh, alright then. Well, head back to the world's out of sea. Uh, what was that flash? Oh, yay! Oh my god, episode shot. Let's see here then. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Right, it's a fetch quest. I have fetch quest. Yay! The guardian of the volcano pays us a visit. Burn, baby, burn. Oh dear. The gang sexually defused the infernal worm. Piece of cake. Ren has been abducted. Oh, spit your teeth out. Oh dear god. All right then, so we finished the chapter. Um, yep. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? If we finish the chapter, then obviously what we need to do is go to the pain area and talk to these guys. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Hello. Talk. Alice. Wait. Master Arata, no matter what pain you may endure, please do not lose yourself. You don't need to tell me that. <laughs> You're right. However, even if it needn't be said, I just want to be sure. Let me tell you. A heavy burden falls on your shoulders, heavier than you could imagine. It may save you in the long run. I don't know what you're talking about, but if all my suffering will reap benefits, then I welcome it. Yes, the finale is coming. I wish the best outcome for you, Master Arata. Alright then. Levin. Thrilling. Hi, I've been expecting you. Please have some tea. Oh, lovely. Is that so? How kind of you. I tried blending it to your liking. This is the best tea I've brewed yet. What did you say? I was delectable. It's delicious, apparently. I did not recall telling you how I like my tea. It's not like <laughs> that. There's nothing I don't know. Even something so intricate as tea preferences can't escape my purview. Gotcha. I'm conflicted. I don't know whether to be happy or terrified. Oh, that's how it is, eh? Yeah, personal relationships are tough. Yes. I agree. Do you think we could become more than friends? I sure hope so. What an honor. Oh, lovely. The best of friends. Or maybe more, who knows? Nova! Nova. Is she gone? I'm back! Oh, hey, you're here! Sit down. Looks like someone's gotten tougher since I last emerged from the abyss. Think so? What? Shut up. I said so, then, then that's that. Just take my word for it. Oh, I guess so. Thank you. Why are you blushing? What's up with you? Uh, whatever. <sighs> You're about to do something dangerous, right? 
Guess I can test your metal. Just don't start crying when the pain's too much. All right, I'll be on my way then. Hm. Good riddance. All right then, very well. Me 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 me. Right, so that, uh, where am I going? Right, so world map. Uh, let's see here. So we want to go. What's this? Oh yeah, the the hidden path. Yes, yeah, so we want to go back to this place, don't we? Because of the thingy, teleporter, doodah, what's it? Because we've got the stones now. Load then. Want to be in, in Odyssey soon? Let me see if we can do something about saving Rin. See you later. Maybe. Actually, we should go check the you shop. You called for me, right? Maybe something with the quest. Because we do have a few, a few. Oh no, not not the bottom there. So we've got a few left before we want to get to like the end of this, don't we? It'd be nice to get. Oh, level max. Very very nice. You called for me. Ah, you wanted to browse so let's my see wares. Here. We buy anything that would actually help. Don't think so How at this might point. I be of service? Ah, hmm. You Maybe we can to buy some new weapons, though. That could be good. Because that's straight off just better. Sheena. So we'll do that. A Thank you. You called. Be careful out there. I'll try. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's do do. See if we've got anything else. No, we're fine. We're fine. All right, then. Let's go. Finally, activate this and head towards Odyssea. Is that where we're meant to be going? Yes. Felt bigger somehow last time. I don't know. I don't know. This is the right place I'm meant to be going, right? I assume so. We're here. Now that's what I call smooth sailing. No, it ain't. Dealing with that nasty Antoma Queen last time probably had something to do with that, hmm? What? Time for us to switch out the stones, right? Wait, Sheena. Why don't you let me hold onto the crack stone? It might come in handy someday. You're gonna sell it. Oh, uh, you don't care about if it'll come in handy or not. You're just trying to make some quick coin, aren't you? Well, of course. Sure, its price might have taken a dip, but it did still make for a fine centerpiece. Player... Ever the shrewd business owner. Just be sure not to swindle anyone, okay? Ah, oh, who cares about her? Everyone be quiet and witness the his historic moment. Sounds like someone is just trying to make sure she's first in line to enter the Sky Capital. Sheena, are you alright? Yes. Let's place the terminal stone in the center. Alright. This time we've got everything in place. Yay, it's activating. Getting so excited. Hey everyone, ready to go? Alright, Odyssea. Here we come. Now loading. This better be everything I hoped. Ooh. I like the background. So, this is the mystical sky capital. Wow, it truly does float. Looks like all of you made it safe and sound. This is incredible. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that I'd ever set foot in Odyssea. It's as pretty as I thought. I can scarcely believe it. For the first time in some while, my heart feels lighter. Silica, are you seeing this right now? Pinch me. I'm dreaming. Yeah, all right. I'm just awestruck. I can't find the words. <laughs> I totally get it. I mean, this was the one thing I wanted in my entire life. I'm just a beginner. And I ever made it this far is all thanks to you. Seriously, thank you so much. <laughs> Surely you realize, I mean, we couldn't have done it without you either, Al. <laughs> You're making me blush. Considering the time we spent together, we've earned a ride for sentiment. Right, Mr. Enigma? Yeah, we came a long way. 
which means all we need to do is beat Heaven's Messenger. As soon as we figure out a way to beat it, we can get Sheena and the girls out of here. The only problem is that like, I do recognize the look of this place. Because at the beginning of the game... Uh -huh. Seriously. The end game has arrived. Hey, there's plenty of time for sappy chit chat later, but we need to get going. <laughs> wonder how much Odyssean anti an antiques, yep, this is going antiquities, but you know, run around here. Oh, Claire, can you spend one day of your life without thinking about business? Sheena, Sheena, I can't wait anymore. L let me scout ahead. Oh, wait, Al. Look how carefree she is. She's still just a kid. <laughs> A smile is one of a kind. I wouldn't mind taking a look around, too. You're right. Let's catch up with Al before she leaves us in the dust. Looks like this is where the scenic route ends. There are bugs all the way up here. If the corruption's already integrated this much, then that means we aren't alone, are we? Sadly, I have to agree with you. Nice to see you catch on for once, Claire. I'd rather not see them. Yes. I couldn't agree with you more, Lucille. Mm, how dare they infest the mystical capital. Wait till I get my hands on them. Oh, if you insist, I'd be happy to let you do all the work in the next battle, Al. I'll be cheering way, way behind you. Don't disappoint us now, Al. Wait, what? No, that doesn't mean I'm going to take them all on by myself. It's okay, Al. You can do it. <laughs> not you too, Zelika. I mean, what were we saying earlier about teamwork? Because I really think we had a good thing going there. It's Sheena, Lily, don't laugh at me. Come on. It would be nice to have voice acting here. Oh, God. Straight in with the music there. Right, so I think this is a lovely place to end this part. In the next part, we'll make our way through Odyssea. Let's have a look at the map, see if we've got Just anything going on. Hmm, two ways to go. I think we'll go for that way first. Seems closer. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.